Welcome back to Conlon Publishing on YouTube. In this video, I'll give you 10 statements about Ulster, the northern province of Ireland. Your challenge is to guess whether the statement is true or false. Is the following statement true or false? The River Shannon, the longest river in Ireland, has its source at Loch Erne in County Fair Manor. That is false. The source of the River Shannon is Shannon Pot in County Cavan. Loch Urn was connected by the restored Shannon Urn Waterway in 1994. The 63 kilometers long canal has 16 locks, built and faced with the original hand cut stone. Cavan is located to the south of Ulster, bordering Connacht and Leinster. Did you know the River Shannon flows through all four provinces of Ireland? Ulster Scots, a dialect with Scottish and Irish influences, is still spoken in parts of Ulster, today. True. More commonly found along the north and northwest coasts in different forms, it's generally considered a dialect or subgroup of Scots Gaelic, although groups such as the Ulster Scots Language Society and Ulster Scots Academy consider it a language in its own right. The Ulster Scots Agency and former Department of Culture, Arts and Leisure have used the term Ulster Scots Language. True or false? Agriculture is the largest contributor to the economy in Ulster, particularly milk production, which generates, on average, 2.5 billion litres of milk per year. False. While it's true, Ulster makes an incredible 2.5 billion litres of milk per year, across almost 3,000 dairy farms. Actually, the largest contributor to the economy in Ulster is the tourism and service sector, accounting for a whopping 70% of all income in the province. Ulster is home to the smallest breed of horse in the world, the adorable miniature horse. Is this true or false? That one was false. While miniature horses are popular worldwide, the smallest recognized horse breed is actually the Falabella, originating from Argentina. Ulster boasts a dramatic coastline, with crashing waves, perfect for surfing, attracting thrill-seekers from all over the globe. It's true. County Donegal in Ulster is known as a surfing hotspot in Ireland, with beaches like Bundoran, Tullin Strand and Tulla Bay attracting experienced surfers. The best time to catch a wave is September to November, but remember it's cold at that time of year, so don't forget your wetsuit. Did you like and subscribe today? Ulster is home to a large population of wild puffins, adorable seabirds with brightly colored beaks, that can be spotted along the north coast. True, puffins are a delightful sight along the Irish coast, including the shores of Ulster, particularly on Rathlin Island, just six miles off the north coast. You can get a ferry there, 
from Bally Castle in County Antrim, and it runs all year round, weather depending, of course. True or false? The name Ulster is derived from an ancient tribe who inhabited the area prior to colonization, called the Yuli people. That is, true. The Norsemen knew the province as Ullastir, spelt U-L-A-Z-T-I-R. The word Tyr in Gaelic means land. And Ul, obviously coming from the Yuli people. Therefore, Ul Tyr can be translated as land of the Yuli people. This was later anglicized as Ulster or Ulvester, and eventually shortened to Ulster. If you say the word slowly, you can still hear the two Gaelic words very clearly. Ulster has a reputation for being the wettest province in Ireland, receiving the most rainfall throughout the year. Surprisingly, that one was false. County Kerry, located in Munster, is known for having the highest average rainfall in Ireland at 61.5 inches of rainfall per year. You'll want to bring a coat when you visit. True or false? The highest cliffs in Europe are located in Ulster. False. Sleeve League cliffs, often pronounced as Sleeve League, meaning mountain of stone pillars, are located in County Donegal on the northwest coast of Ireland and are a breathtaking natural wonder, offering stunning views of the wild Atlantic coast. At 601 meters they are tall and dramatic, but the largest cliff in Europe is Hornelen, Norway, at 860 meters. Ulster is a haven for stargazers, with highland areas boasting some of the darkest night skies in Europe, perfect for spotting the Milky Way. Do you think this is true or false? The correct answer is true. Due to lower light pollution and high mountain peaks, some parts of rural Ireland, especially areas in Ulster, offer excellent stargazing opportunities. Was that the most exciting true or false quiz you've ever done in your life? I thought so. Help the channel out by bonking the like button. And for more content like this, subscribe to our channel. It's free. Seeing that we're on the subject of Ulster, Check out the suggested video on screen now. It's a fun list of the top 10 things you might not have known about Belfast, the largest city in Ulster. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.